குருபியோ நம நமஸ்தே சில்ட்ரன் ஐ எம் ஷுர் யூ ஆர் ஹேவிங் அ கிரேட் டைம் லிஸ்னிங் டு ஸ்டோரிஸ் டுடே ஐ வில் டெல் யூ அ ஸ்டோரி அபவுட் அ லிட்டில் ஃபிஷ் அ ஸ்மார்ட் லிட்டில் ஃபிஷ் ஹோப் யூ ஸ்மார்ட் கிட்ஸ் வில் என்ஜாய் லிஸ்னிங் டு த ஸ்டோரி அண்ட் ஆல்சோ லேர்ன் டு பிகம் ஸ்மார்டர் ஸ்டில் த ஸ்டோரி இஸ் அபவுட் three t's trust trust and trust trust for a better future trust in yourself and trust in god so let's see how these three t's work once upon a time there was a hunter called somu he always carried his fishing net along with him because there were small ponds and a huge lake inside the forest so whenever he felt lazy to hunt he used to throw his net catch the fish bring home all of them sell them at the market make lot of money and live happily this is how he spent his life but later when trees were chopped down there were no rains one particular summer it became very difficult as the ponds and the lakes went dry one day he literally came back home empty handed he was already suffering there was no money and children were almost starving that day too they went to bed with nothing to eat so mom was very sad he did not know what to do he was feeling quite helpless that day with a heavy heart as he went to bed he prayed god please give me a solution to this problem let me not see my children hungry saying this prayer he went to bed next day when he woke up opened his eyes he felt suddenly very happy and energetic he did not know why he did not know the reason why he was feeling so but felt as if he had new energy sometimes you know children this happens to us we wake up to find ourselves very happy some inexplicable joy we do not know what the reason is and we continue to be like that throughout the day maybe some positive energy for wonderful things to happen that particular day so now let's see how this energy work for so much He immediately took his fishing net and went towards the forest. As he started, he tell, he was telling himself, "I'm the best in this profession and I can do anything. I will be victorious. Today is my day." You know something children? Our missile man Dr Abdul Kalam sir suggested that we should be speaking these five lines I'm the best I can do it God is with me I'm a winner and today is my day I believe if we say these five lines we will be successful Now, Somu seems to be having the same kind of spirit. Let's see what happened. He walked into the forest and as he walked deeper into the forest for miles, he was feeling exhausted, tired, his throat went dry, his legs were aching. He did not know whether he should proceed because he was just clueless. he did not know whether he would find anything to hunt or to fish 
He wanted to come back, but he suddenly remembered his children, their faces, and then immediately decided and told himself, I will not give up. And again he started. As he walked deeper still, he found the grass getting greener and some creepers and climbers he observed. Suddenly rats and rab rabbits also were running all over the place. He found some monkeys swinging on the branches of the trees. Immediately he understood that there was a water source nearby. And he walked a few more yards. He felt as if he heard a gurgling stream. Then he hurried, walked faster. He just followed the sound of the gurgling stream and reached the place. Wow, what did he see suddenly? A beautiful pond, full of life. Ducks, frogs jumping in and out of the pond. Chirping birds, chattering monkeys swinging on the trees. And it was full of life. Water in the pond was crystal clear. He then first quenched his thirst, drinking from the cool stream, stepped into the pond, looked up at the sky and said, Thank you, God, for helping me to find this pond. Then he wasted no time. He just threw the net and within minutes the net became heavy. He pulled it out and took all the fish home. Sold them, made good money and had a feast. It was celebration at home. So now Somu came off into the pond week after week. Now on the other hand, the pond there was a lot of commotion and chaos. All the fish, they were worried, terribly nervous, disturbed, did not know what to do. The little ones were crying and weeping. They were restless with fear of Somo coming anytime. And often they had some meetings to discuss how they could escape from the clutches of this man. One brilliant one said, let's all cling to the edge of the net and remain there. When the net is pulled up, we would just fall down and escape from being caught. But then again, they were wondering what, how they would know whether they are inside the net or clinging to the edge of the net. Another clever one said, Okay, let's bury ourselves in the mud somewhere and stay there till he leaves. But then, do you think that is possible? Can they be alive for a long time if they are buried in the sand? That was also was close to impossible. Yet another one suggested that they should float and pretend as if they are dead. But then ultimately they will be caught in the net. So even that plan won't work. Some of them said, okay, we will leave the pond. But how? So plan after plan, Every plan seemed to be close to impossible. When this was happening, our little hero, the little fish, let me tell you something about him. He was quite an intelligent, active and a naughty fish. 
but beyond all this he was very smart but often he used to be silent and away from the crowd and sometimes when the, when he was called he wouldn't respond and even if he responded he would just nod but remain very indifferent in his own world so he was even given the title as absent minded one and a stupid one okay well why this title you wait and see why children very often you to do this isn't it when you are very busy with your games watching something or up to some mischief mom calls you sometimes you answer sometimes you say you coming you coming but you don't move out and sometimes you forget that you've been called you're in your own world people get irritated with you and leave you alone isn't it similarly this little one also all the others didn't bother much they often used to get irritated with it leave it alone but now he was observed that he was absolutely silent many of them had observed that the little fish is busy somewhere silently so during the meeting they called it and said all the elders had gathered they were very inquisitive and curious to know what this little one was doing so some of the elders said you are not to be seen anywhere when when the villain comes where are you going what are you doing there where are you hiding yourself so some other one another brilliant one said asked it okay little fish when there is so much of chaos and commotion all over in the pond you seem to be calm and quiet how is it possible for you how are you remaining so calm aren't you not disturbed are you not worried so questions were just shot at it yet another one said come on little fish tell us your secret plan what are you doing where are you hiding which is your hiding place so when question after question when all of them were shooting at it the little fish thought it was time for it to answer and reply so it faced the elders and with great humility and hesitation it said i was also very nervous like you people i am still very nervous i am also scared but what is the use of worrying and crying and shouting that will not work so i was thinking i was silently sitting in one corner and thinking about how to solve this problem i just thought of just one plan i just go feel the man's feet when he enters and quickly go in between his feet and stay there when i am not able to stay there any more i keep going around his feet making sure that i not move away from his feet and while moving i say a soft silent prayer god please help me to be safe and this is what i have been doing there was absolute silence in the pond then it continued to explain the little fish said when the man comes and stands there in the pond and throws the net in front of him i am sure it would fall away from him and so 
I cannot be caught if I am at his feet. So this is the only thought that I got after a lot of thinking. When it finished the sentence, all the fish, all of them in the pond were stunned at its brilliance and smartness. All the elders in the pond were feeling proud of this little fish and its brilliance. And they shed tears of joy and were very grateful that it could come up with such a wonderful plan. The others went screaming, Oh little fish, what a clever thinking mind you have. <laughs> said all the little ones applauded and said my god little fish you have a master mind so the little fish was very happy finally all its thinking could help to save them also it thought and then it said invited all of them to follow its plan. That day, Somu did arrive. He entered through his net and waited. Generally, after minutes, his net used to become heavy. But that day, he pulled his net only to see it empty. He was puzzled. Something is wrong. He threw the net again. And this time, again, he found nothing. So then he told himself, probably the pond has become empty. But where were all the fish? They were all at Somu's feet. Little did Somu know about this. So stepping out of the pond, he said, now the pond has become empty. I must find another pond, maybe on the other side of the forest. I will not give up. I need to keep my family happy. Saying this, he started on his journey. Then, after Somu left, it was all celebration at the pond. The fish were extremely happy. They were hailing, some of them were so grateful to the little fish and declared him the hero. So children, now let's come back to our three T's that we discussed earlier. Trust for a better future. Both hunter and the fish had lots of problems. But they believed that they would have a good future, better future. We all do have problems. But tomorrow, it would be better for us. We would come up with a solution. And so, we would have a bright future. We trust that. And similarly, difficulties. Yes. We have very difficult times too, but then they don't last forever. With some solution, we will come up with a better future and we trust in that. We believe that would happen. Coming to the second T, trust in yourself. Yes, like the little fish. Let's keep thinking. We won't be called absent-minded anymore. Let's keep telling ourselves, I can do it. And I am a winner. I am the best. Today, if you fail, 
doesn't matter. That's not the end of the world. Today you don't get a merit card. You would work hard with patience and determination, telling yourself that you will get a merit card. You will. You miss a distinction. Compete with your own self with greater determination, courage and patience, never giving up. Like the fish and the hunter, you will be a winner. And finally, trust in God. You do your best and surrender. Say, God, help me to win. Help me to be successful. And when God is with you, you are definitely a winner. So, in this context, let us all recollect the message of Swami Vivekananda, who said, Believe first in yourself, then in God. God bless you all children. I thank Swamiji for giving me this opportunity to narrate this story to you all. Namaste.